John Benet Ramsey case. Just the facts. This video is about the facts, and only the facts. And, to be clear, the photos don't all line up with the narration of this video. I begin with John, Patsy, Burke, and John Bonet attended Christmas dinner at Fleet White's house. There's really no facts with regards to the rest of that night. For example, the Ramsey family could have went to John Fernie's house, or they could have had a flat tire, or they could have had an accident on the street, or when they pulled into their garage. So the first fact is the 911 call at 5.52 a.m. Patsy stated, we have a kidnapping. She said, there's a note left and our daughter's gone. The 911 operator said, Does it say who took her? Patsy replied, No, I don't know. It's there. There's a ransom note here. Then the operator replied, It's a ransom note? And Patsy said, It says SBTC Victory. Boulder Police Officer Rick French arrived at the house approximately at 6 a.m. The next fact would be the ransom note. The note consists of three pages, approximately 372 words. It's addressed to Mr. Ramsey and mentions his first name, John, three times near the end. The note does not state Patsy's name, Burke's name, or John Bonet's name. The note states the word daughter six times. The note mentions your business, $118,000, electronic devices, your family, and the phrase good southern common sense of yours. Fleet and Priscilla White and John and Barbara Fernie showed up to the house. Burke Ramsey left the house sometime after 7 a.m. John Ramsey did not speak to a kidnapper on the phone that morning. Sometime after 1 p.m., John Ramsey and Fleet White went to the basement and looked at this window here. Then, John Ramsey opened the wine cellar door, messed with John Bonet's body, and carried her body to the first floor of the house. John Bonet had a cord wrapped tightly around her neck. Her long johns and underwear were urine stained on the front. She had a skull fracture about eight and a half inches in length. There was a small amount of thick mucus material in her stomach. There was yellow to green tan apparent vegetable or fruit material in her GI tract, just below her stomach. The bladder contained no urine. There were abrasions on her vaginal walls. A bowl of pineapple and a glass with a tea bag inside of it were found on this glass table right here. And a white blanket and a pink Barbie nightgown were found inside the wine cellar. I'm going to cut this episode off here and just ask, what do the facts suggest? This ends this episode of Unsolved, 
And I'll see you tomorrow night for the Zodiac Killer case. See ya. Thank you.